So I was going to actually try to do a live stream this morning and I couldn't because my cats decided to run off with my webcam cord after they knocked all my stuff down, I guess trying to emulate some version of WWE um, where I was the only one that lost. So that's how my morning's going. Hope yours go a little bit better. But So uh, Tim Canova made a pretty huge announcement the other day and I think it largely went uh, undiscussed um, because there was no press there to cover it except for myself. And so I figured, you know, I gotta do my due diligence and, and, and talk about this because, well, the people should know that there are people out there willing to fight and combat election fraud actively who will not simply bend over to the will of the establishment. So Tim Canova has announced that if, no, if nothing continues to be done about uh, Brenda Snipes destroying the ballots, uh, after being found guilty of destroying the ballots, by the way, being found guilty of violating both state and federal election laws, then he is going to pursue a citizen's arrest. Yeah, he's going to do that. And I am one. I told him at that meeting, I said, oh, please call me before you do that. Now, this conversation took place uh, because of what we saw happen in Michigan and Ohio, but more specifically Michigan, where there have been numerous counts of alleged election fraud, including precincts not having enough ballots. One campaign had one of their staffers go in, pretend to be an election inspector, and also started counting ballots. Another person from a campaign actually said that, that she was, what was the word? She was, I, don't, I don't remember what the exact term was, but it was something illegal where she would try to figure out who exactly was voting for who, but like inside the camp, like inside the voting area where they're not allowed to be. Um, she said she was authorized. Of course she wasn't, um, but she did. Um, so then she started calling people to verify, to make sure that they were still voting for the other person because they were just getting beat. Um, so Tim Canova offered some advice from his experience. He said that the worst mistake that he feel like he's ever made as a politician is not auditing that election, the moment that he felt that there was something wrong. Um, which is why going forward, Tim Canova has announced that if he is elected to office, that he is going to introduce legislation, making every single election in this country have a mandatory ballot, which I don't think anybody would disagree with. Right now, it feels like our democracy. I mean, it's, it's, it's already been uh, empirically proven that we are an effect, effectively an oligarchy. And I don't think there's many people surprised by that. But our democracy hasn't been in our hands for quite some time. And it really begs the question exactly, exactly how long we've been an oligarchy. Some would argue it's been since the 18, late 1800s during the Gilded Ages. Um, and, you know, we might have had like a little break in between that, but pretty much money has ruled this country for quite some time. Uh, and so... To see Tim Canova step up like this in such a major way uh, is, is really awe-inspiring if you're a candidate. Now, the problem that other candidates are having, like Shauna McNally, for example, just to recount her race, is $9,000. It makes no sense. Why should we have to pay to do a recount if she never conceded? Think about that. The fact of the matter is we shouldn't be doing recounts. We should have to pay for that. The candidate should not have to pay for that. We should at least one. I believe there should be at least two recounts done. At least two. Every election where you have you can have a Democrat, Republican, Independent, where one of them is the one two are counting and one is the inspector, you know, two independents and a Democrat, but you want to, I feel like that would be the fair way to do it is to have one person from every, uh, from, from different parties, at least three 
counting and inspecting to make sure that our elections are fair. And of course, give her to the damn voting machines. But once again, Tim Canova is setting another huge precedent for progressives. First, running against Debbie Washington Schultz, then taking his victory that he, the victory that he should have had, taking it to court, winning, then having the gods destroyed right in front of his eyes, getting an election inspector found guilty of committing felony election tampering, splitting from the Democratic Party, becoming an independent, still maintaining a high possibility of winning, by the way, according to the field numbers, and now looking for that accountability that so many people have been itching to see. So once again, from me to you, Tim, thank you very much once again for your bravery. It's a quality I don't think many, many appreciate enough. But if you do appreciate it, make sure you go to timcanova.com, donate to his campaign. Uh, let's make sure that he gets through this race because Debbie Washington Schultz needs to go. We can continue this conversation on Just Inform. If you go to the Just Inform, uh, if you go to justinform.com, go to the MCSC chat. Uh, you can actually go to the contributor page and we do have a chat inside the contributor page to talk about all the different videos and live stream we do here on Just Inform and on Twitter. So I'll be looking for you there.